felt puny as a human, so he said, fuck that, and aimed to be superhuman. I met him as the dark, enigmatic prince surrounded by Muppets when I was about yay high, and I thought that Jennifer Connelly was nuts. And then when I grew older, he was part of the Holy Trinity with Trent Reznor and Tori Amos. And I think that something happened on the day he died. I think that his essence dispersed into the universe and that it inspired all the artists who he had inspired before to go to new heights. And I think he left mysteries and he left music. He lived and he died. And I am here to unveil my tribute to David Bowie and to announce an event the like of which has rarely been seen in Binghamton or anywhere else. This August at the Bundy Museum with musicians and artists from around the country, we will explore life and we will explore death in a performance painting lasting 10 days, spanning two murals and 14 sessions. There will be magic, there will be music. We will speak truths that need to be said because the truth is, of course, that there is no journey. We are arriving and departing at the same time. And with that, I'm missing a card that said the last thing. <laughs> I give you tribute Bowie.